Hi, my name is David Molinari, and this is my work trailer that I did uh, build out on, just like or very similar to Ron Pauk's uh, plans that you can buy on his website. So here we go. This is an 18 foot wide trailer. So you can see on the inside, this, uh, this build out is much like Ron's uh, trailer. And so I bought this trailer in December of 2020 and I bought the set of plans for from Ron how to do this setup that is similar to his setup. So it's getting dark outside, so we're going to start right here at the back. We designed it. We use a little bit of sheet goods on our jobs. I'm a finished trim carpenter. Uh, we do interior trim in the St. Louis area. So we carry a little bit of sheet goods on, so I built a slot uh, for our sheet goods. And then I also built some long drawers in the end where I keep our parallel clamps. This is all on the same runner system, drawer system uh, that Ron lays out in his prints. More parallel clamps in the bottom. And then one of, and I keep my two wheel dolly right here on the end. This thing really, no matter if you're going up down the highway, this dolly really never moves out of this spot. It always stays in place. I enjoyed seeing David's Smart Woodshop tour, and I know you're going to as well. For me, David is a finished carpenter, and that's how I started. Uh, back in the state of Washington, in the Bellevue area, I was a finished carpenter for a fairly high-end builder at the time, uh, Buckin, Bill Buckin, and I worked on the crew. I learned my uh, a lot of efficiency techniques and a lot of uh, production techniques, keeping the quality up but getting a lot done. So I'm uh, you know, very thankful that I was trained on a very professional crew with uh, a lead that you know, was very fastidious about teaching all of us new folks coming on. But, but I didn't have a system like this. You know, I had custom built cases that I had made and I loaded them in a station wagon because that's what my wife and I had, one car and I'd get up early in the morning and I'd, you know, the night before I'd load the cases in the back. It's just, it's what we had, but you know, when you're starting out, that's, that's the way it is. Uh, I, I really, it would be nice to have had a system like this uh, back then. If you want to build a smart wood shop for yourself, one of the workbenches like the smart station or the smart bench, and then all the accessories like the cart that makes them mobile or the router station or the cradle that holds up uh, the bench tools like table saw. It's all a system and you can get detailed plans to build them for yourself. There's a link in the description of this video down below. Enough of my shameless promotion. Let's get back to David's Smart Woodshop Tour. One of the things I like about this trailer the most is for anybody who does interior trim and you have multiple levels is keeping your levels protected when you're transporting them. So I made these slots for all my levels to pull out. So my eight footer is right here on this side. So everything has a positive stop. So that's my eight foot level. I have two 78 inch levels. They all have the same slots. I have a four, my four foot Stabila here, and then all the way down to 32, and then a couple 24s. And then I keep my framing squares in these slots and they all have positive stops so that everything is easy to grab and easy to pull out. So then moving inside, obviously we added, we added lights in and just put a nice little switch right here to turn the lights on and everything is run uh, by this battery, which is in this compartment. Now this battery, we did tie in to the RV plug at the front of the trailer. So anytime I plug this trailer into my truck, it charges this battery back up so we never lose power on our light system. So here at the back is where we built basically to keep our festival containers that work nice in this. Um, they fit right in these slots nice and tight. I put a quarter inch piece of plywood up front. So everything in here, all you have to do is just lift the front and it slides right out. So when you push it back in, it drops down over that lip and nothing ever falls out of these slots. Same way with both, with both um, storage bins. And then moving up here, I generally carry 
a regular vacuum, my saw horses and everything is basically lift out. So I've got a cleat on the floor. You pick it up, pull it out, and put the top in. And it sits right back in place. Same thing with the saw horses. You lift up, pull them out, and they sit right back in place and they never ever fall out of there. So then we got the same kind of Ron Falk style uh, setup as his trailer and everything just has the cleat on the front. So no matter what you're pulling out, you just lift it over the cleat. Everything is easily accessible to grab out. Um, to adjust these for different sizes, it's just a matter of pulling the screws out of these cleats and we can put these dividers in any, if we want to change the orientation of these, we can change that pretty easily. So all of our, I do keep some of my tools in their cases, um, but most I just leave loose. So you can see I've got um, trim guns, some framing guns. I don't do, I don't do really any framing anymore, um, but I do keep the guns in the trailer. And then as we move up to the front, we use these carts for moving cabinets in the house. So we roll the carts from the dolly straight on, or the cabinets from the dolly straight onto these moving carts. And we roll the cabinets in the house and all around the house with these carts. So we just built the same slot for these things. And they can't, they can't fall out of there. So that's been really handy. And then up front, I've got a, you know, I don't know what that is, a wheelbarrow rack, but I hang my flip stands on there. And um, that does real nice. My saw stop table saw just kind of sits in the aisle because that's really the only place forward. When we load the trailer up, it comes in last and that's just kind of where it rides. So then we have the same kind of drawer system and so that they don't open. When we go down the road, you just, we put a cleat on the front. So you just lift up and they pull out. And then, so this is so just some loose um, tools that we use, smalls, but all the drawers are basically on the same on the same setup i have this for basically uh, some router router bits and router tools over here i have basically hole saws um, stud finders laser levels things like that and this is some more miscellaneous um, tools and then down here i have a whole drawer dedicated uh, for tape so we just keep tape on hand because we use it for different things. Um, I have a drawer for straps. Um, I have another drawer for my domino. So this is where I keep my lamello domino joiner, or not domino, the biscuit joiner, and some jugs of biscuits. And then basically the same thing over here. Um, ladder storage is basically, I've got another one of those wheelbarrow racks and these ladders just hang on that. And we have uh, another four footer that kind of sits in here. So those things really never move either. And then I had originally designed this for a rigid stack, one of them stackable um, rollout pack out systems. But once I built this trailer, I don't really use the pack out system anymore. So we got rid of that and I put my Festool um, C26E is where that sits. And so same thing. Just pick it up and it slides right out and it slides right back in and it never moves from that spot when we're driving down the highway. Now for my chop saw, it just sits on the shelf. Same thing, the same cleat. So the chop saw just sits there and then the chop saw stand actually works really nice. It sits on top of this cabinet and the carrying handle, you may not be able to see, but the carrying handle wedges right underneath this truss here. And then I, I carry these outfeed brackets. And when I slide this bracket up against the cabinet, so when I slide this bracket up against the cabinet, that thing never moves from that spot. So all I have to do is loosen this bracket and it pulls right off the top of the cabinet. Very easy to get in and out of here. And then uh, just some, uh, some more miscellaneous storage for tools. Some things that I don't really use anymore, I need to get out of here. But um, we also have um, moving blankets that we use a lot for when we do cabinets. We have to cover cover the cabinets to protect them, cover the granite. So we've got drawers down here 
all the moving blankets fold up and store away really nicely in these two in these two drawers here and then we have missing just some miscellaneous uh, screws that we use for installing cabinets and and other things on the job so before i bought this trailer we worked out of a six foot by 10 foot or six foot by 12 foot home depot single axle trailer that as we got all these tools was just entirely too small so we i saw this trailer for the first time actually in a jay bates video a couple years ago jay bates did a build out for a friend of his and he said that he got those prints from ron Pauk. so i went to ron Pauk's website i bought the set of prints and i built this trailer and it is so nice to work out of doing what we do in the finished carpentry world you need a million tools and in order to work efficiently you need to be able to get to those tools quickly easily know where everything is at and this trailer has helped to do that so nice so this is my trailer thank you ron for uh, designing these prints and uh, making it to where we have a very nice trailer to work out of thank you if you enjoyed david's smart woodshop tour then be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've got any questions for david put them in the comments down below and i'm sure that he'll be happy to take the time to answer your questions also be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you will see all of the videos we put up, including the rest of the Smart Woodshop tours. And there are more to come. Thanks for hanging out today with David and his Smart Woodshop. You stay safe and have a great day.